Hi, it's DM. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you're new here, welcome. Today, I'm going to be continuing to share the new products from the KS Craft Store on AliExpress. And all the dies that you're going to see today were designed by Nicole Silhouette. The first set we have here is a Rocking Horse Memory Dex card. So in this set, this would be your base piece. This is the Rocking Horse. These are layering pieces for the bottom. And then these are layering pieces for the Rocking Horse itself. And you also get this present. So let me show you how this turned out. This is how the first one turned out. This is a very cute memory dex card as the horse does rock back and forth. So behind the saddle part here, there is a hole. And on the base piece, there's a hole as well so that you're able to put a brad through and make your horse move back and forth. And then the nice thing about that is you could always switch out the base piece if you wanted to and um, have one with different colors or pattern as well. You can just take the horse off of the base piece and have the rocking horse on its own as well. And I like how the saddle part here has stitching details. I did layer that piece with some foam just to make it a little more dimensional. And then for the decorative pieces here, I cut that out using some gold foil paper. And then here's the second one that I made. And for each of these, I also added a fall sticker sentiment that also comes from the KS Craft Store. For the base piece here, I really like how it's got two layering pieces. And I also layered that bottom piece uh, using some foam board just to make it a little more dimensional. So this measures four and one eighths of an inch by four inches. This is a die set from a previous release and I finally put it together. It creates a treat box and there's actually two sizes available. So this is the smaller version. This would be the base piece here for your box. And then you get all these layering pieces, which is very nice. You also get this tag and for the tag, it also has this decorative piece on the top and it's got stitching details. These are extras in which you could create tags. So there's this star shape as well as this tree. And this is uh, the larger version, so it looks exactly the same. Here's an example of the larger box. For the base of the box, I cut that out using 110 pound cardstock so that it'd be very sturdy. I really love all the layering pieces that you get with this set because I think it makes the project look a lot more professional. For the window piece here, there's also this additional layering piece, which I think is so pretty. So for that piece, I cut that out using a glitter cardstock. I also layered the inside of the box and I decorated this using some stickers. So you can put all kinds of goodies into this. You could put treats, you can put craft supplies. This large box measures three and three quarter inches by two inches, and then it's got a depth of three quarters of an inch. And then here's another one that I made in a Valentine's theme. And of course you can make them in all sorts of themes. Here's one done in a Halloween theme. And for this one, I decorated it with some images from the Caparugia sketch store on Etsy. And here there's a blender and it's got some candy corn in it. And over here, I just added two little candy corns. And for these, I also layered them using my holographic sticker paper. And then here's an example of the smaller box. And I also did this one in a Valentine's theme. And then this one is an itty bitty size. It measures three inches by one and five eighths of an inch. And it's got a depth of five eighths of an inch. And it's really fun to decorate these using pattern papers. So for this one, I just used some digital Hello Kitty papers. And then I just decorated again using stickers. And then here's one more in a strawberry shortcake theme. This is a Valentine's die set in which you get this diamond ring. So that would be your base piece. 
This is a layering piece. You could use this to turn this into a shaker. And then you get the word Galentine in two different sizes. And each of the words does come with a shadow piece. And this is how my ring turned out. It's a very cute, dainty design. I cut it out using some glitter cardstock. I also layered it with foam board just to make it a little more sturdy. I did turn it into a see-through shaker. And for the sequins in there, I added some fine glitter that I got from Michaels. I found this very pretty mix that's called Carnation. And then right now I have this teddy bear holding this ring because I thought this would look really cute on a gift bag, especially with the word Galentine that comes with the set here. So this is how the large word turned out. I really like the little heart details. So I thought this would look really cute on a gift bag. And the ring, it measures three and one eighths of an inch tall by two and a quarter inches. And then the word Galentine there measures four and a quarter inches by one and three quarters of an inch. And I did cut out an example of the smaller word here as well. Really pretty. And while I was at it, I wanted to show you the other fun things that I did with this bear. So I found this bear off of AliExpress and he's really cute because you can lift up his hands and put objects into his hand. And I really wanted to see if he would work with this crochet set that I got off of AliExpress previously. And it looks like he's uh, crocheted this piece, which I think is adorable. And then here's another example of him holding one of the mini coffee cups from the KS Craft Store. Really cute. And this is what the die set looks like. It's huge. And it's very simple as it's just this one piece as well as you get two pieces for his nose, uh, two options for the nose, and then the eyes. And I could put a link to it in the description box as well. For my next example, I used these two die sets. So in this first set here, you get a llama and it comes with all these decorative pieces. And then in this set, you get two heart borders one for an A2 card and one for an A6 card. And then I also use the B Mine word die as well. So I did make a card. And for the base of the card, I use this beautiful embossed paper that I got from Michaels. It's got some heart details on it. There's the beautiful heart border that was created using the edge die. And I like how there's so many hearts and it's got a very nice dainty design. I also layered the inside of the card using some colored cardstock so that you could see it more clearly. There's the llama, he's really cute. It's got some embossing details and I love all the decorative pieces that you get with this. I added the Be Mine sentiment die over here, which I really love as it's got all those layers as well. And then in the center here, I just popped everything onto this oval uh, piece here. And this oval piece in the background with the heart edge, that actually comes from the Surprise Creation Store. It's a new die set that they have. And uh, this is what it looks like. I'll be sharing more of this in another video. So the llama measures four and one eighths of an inch by three inches. And then this is the inside of the card. I just added some of the hearts that popped out from the edge uh, die. And also for this card, I didn't follow any card rules. I just made a card in a custom size so that it would fit everything. So you could also use this border die in mini albums. I think it'd be really cute as well. This set creates a heart-shaped globe. So this would be your base piece. You get this scallop heart. You also get this piece that looks like a frame, so you could use this to create a shaker. And then this is a decorative piece to put on the back of that. And then you also get this word that says, love you, and it does come with a shadow piece. The globe's very pretty. The base piece has a very dainty design. 
I really like how the base heart piece has a scallop detail as well as stitching around. I did turn them into shakers and I thought it'd be very cute to put images of your significant other. You could put uh, images of special moments. And here I have an image of Strawberry Shortcake and her friend Huckleberry Pie. And they're enjoying a milkshake. I also added some conversation hearts to the sequins mix. At the bottom there, I tied some twine so that I could add a tag that says friends forever. I also added a heart charm. And then here's another one. And this one's got an image of Strawberry Shortcake and her friend Lemon Meringue. And the tag says, you're my world. And for this one, I also added another heart charm here. And I'm really loving those tiny little heart charms. I think they add such a cute detail to your projects. And then one more. This one features Strawberry Shortcake and her friend Mint Tulip. And they're actually riding bikes. Kind of hard to see. And for the tag, it says, you're my everything. And those are Lily of the Valley digital tags in which I customized. And I could put a link to that in the description box as well. So this globe measures four and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. I thought it'd also be cute to put your favorite destination in here. For example, a map of your favorite destination. You could also put a, a flag of your country. You could also put um, pictures from trips as well. So many possibilities with this one. This set is called the Heart Gift Pouch. So in this set, you get this base piece in the shape of a hexagon. It has a layering piece. This piece creates the sides of the bag and you'd need to cut this out three times. For the sides of the bags, you have some decorative options as well. You could decorate it with this panel here or this panel with the hearts. Also included are these two bread tags. And then you also get this, these two banner pieces or pieces to create tags as well. And then in their shop, they also have an option in which you could create a bag that's in the shape of a octagon. So in the shop, they also have this add-on piece. Well, it's not really an add-on piece, but what you get is you get all these pieces as well as this piece. So this piece is the base piece in the octagon shape. It also comes with the layering piece. And then you get these uh, three bread tags and they are in different sizes from the other ones that you saw. For my example, I decided to go with the hexagon shape bag for the base piece, I cut that out using 110 pound cardstock so that it'd be very sturdy. I layered it using the heart shape pattern panels and I cut that out using a lighter shade of pink. I decorated this in a strawberry shortcake theme in which I added some images that I cut out using my silhouette machine. And they are scans of stickers that I have. And then for each of the images, I did go around the edge using some stickles, but it's very hard to see in this um, poor lighting. And then it's very cute how these top pieces here have a heart shape. And then for each of those, I decorated them with these wonky hearts that come from the Best Friends Forever tag from the KLJYP store. I used some seam binding from the My Scrap Cabin shop to close this. And then I also added one of the bread tags and it is in a strawberry shortcake theme as well. Really cute. It's got a really cute image of strawberry shortcake and her friends. And for the bread tag, I also laminated it so that it'd be very sturdy. So this measures four and five eighths inch wide at the uh, widest point here. And then it's got a height of six and a half inches. And then if you were to create the octagon box, that would measure six inches wide by uh, six and a half inches tall. I also cut out some more example of the bread tags in the different sizes. Uh, so let me just show you quickly here. So uh, here's the smallest one. And I thought to laminate these because 
it would make it very sturdy because you could also use these as closures on gift bags as well. So cute. And it does have stitching details. Imagine making these in all sorts of themes. It'd be really cute. And then here's another one of that uh, same size here. And then the largest one. And I thought these were so fun. So I did make other ones in a uh, rainbow bright theme. So let me just uh, show you quickly. So for example, the smallest one here, I didn't laminate this one, but it does have uh, stitching details. And these are of vintage Valentines. Really cute. And this was just a scan of a greeting card that I have. And then some more. And then I did cut out examples of the tags that come with the set just to show you. So here's the large one and it does have stitching details. So you could add a sentiment to this and then hang it on the bag as well as an option. So here's a quick recap of some of the new dies that are now available in the KS Craft Store. We have the Heart Edge die, Llama, Galantine words with the diamond ring, the treat boxes in two different sizes, rocking horse memory dex card, heart shape globe, as well as the heart pouch that comes with the bread tags. And I'm going to be putting a link to everything in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.